What is up guys, welcome to another G4 video. Today we're talking about Druid and a Tornado build uh, that I did today. And it's revolving around uh, this particular effect in this legendary item. Tornado will seek up to four targets. Without it, this build won't be that effective. So in case you have it, this is the video for you. In case you don't have it, the build simply won't be that effective. Now, first thing first, the build relies on three core skills, Tornado, uh, we have Cyclone Armor and we have Vine Creeper. Why is that important? Because uh, Cyclone Armor will push enemies away, slowing them down in the process and making them vulnerable. So you can use a Tornado after you use the armor. The same thing applies to a Vine Creeper. Uh, you're basically immobilizing the targets for three seconds. So once you use this skill, you can follow by Tornado. Uh, if we take a closer look at uh, the skill tree, I have um, as a basic skill, basically, I have um, Wind Shear because with this particular build i don't have any protective mechanisms i don't have shield there is no way to fortify so i'm relying on this uh, movement speed so i can kite however if you prefer to fight melee you can uh, use storm strike instead also uh, i make sure that my basic skills generate more spirit and my core skill which is basic tornado is dealing more damage once again we already established that we require cyclone armor very very important you require vine creeper and look at this deal 9% increased damage to distant enemies, double the bonus if they're also slowed, stunned, immobilized, or knocked back. So you can use uh, your Cyclone Armor uh, and the Vine Creeper so that you can make sure the enemies away from you, and they're slowed, and they're immobilized, you name it. And uh, at the end of the day, I have also Cataclysm with the Prime Cataclysm activated. Uh, reason being, I just want to make sure that uh, my build works better against bosses. And at the end of the day, it looks pretty cool right so now let's jump into this dungeon and showcase how this thing works i'm going to uh, basically mobilize them and i'm going to strike with two tornadoes and they all are going to die as you can see it's pretty effective the only problem is that it drains your spirit completely uh so uh you know to fix that now i have no other option i have to just kite them for a while uh, while i'm regenerating my spirit or if you don't want uh, to kite that's perfectly fine i'm going to use now uh, my second option which is the armor uh, and uh, they're going to die. Three tornadoes will kill everything. And it's also pretty good against bosses, so uh, or elite monsters, let's call it that way. I will make sure to... And when I say it is good against bosses, don't get me wrong, I don't really mean uh, that um, it is going to demolish the boss in one second. No, this is not the case. Uh, when I say it is good, it is good for a druid. It, you will never match a sorcerer damage, right? You will never do that. It's not possible. However, as you can see, the elite is dying quite fast. Uh, I, oh, I got, uh, got a legendary, that's pretty cool. So at the end of the day, uh, viable build for Druid. Uh, of course, you can have your adjustments. For instance, uh, here, if you want to get rid of this or sp uh, spend a point somewhere else, for instance, uh, I, I spent some time tweaking those skills. It's, it's very interesting. However, at the end of the day, I didn't have enough points. Otherwise, this one is uh, this one is not bad. This one's not bad. So your tornadoes are going to do even more damage, but um, you have to sacrifice many, many points somewhere else. And at this point, as you can see, the build is working. Once again, the only drawback uh, is that uh, you could be constantly out of uh, out of spirit because this is the reason, this is the way the build works, right? You're generating spirit, then you're gathering everybody, and then you're destroying them with a tornado. <laughs> Basically, this is how it works. Uh, and it kills everybody, everything, uh, like, like nothing can survive, as you can see. Uh, Alright guys, so basically this is all I wanted to uh, showcase so today. I hope you found this video useful and please let me know if you found out any other tornado build for a druid because uh, this one was the best one for me. See you next time guys. Take care. Perfect.